as the weather is definitely not trying well if it is it's not working out but it's definitely not getting warmer and it's definitely going to be heading more into the colder temperatures as the rest of the year goes on and little light snowflakes floating around tits beer bomb 420 comes in with an energy review for you I try out the beverage, I'll let you know what it's all about. And then you do what you do on your end. Maybe you've had it and you want to tell me about it in a text comment or you want to drop a video reply. Or maybe you're going to go look for it now and blah 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 this and that. A good day YouTube. Tits Beer Bomb 420 here with another energy beverage review. Um, it's a 21% juice beverage. So a bit higher than what percentages of juice usually are in an energy drink. Before I tell you what the name of the energy drink is and everything about it, uh, let's read stuff in the back here. Power, or pure power from the heart of the Amazon. Um, this is rich in antioxidants from the acai berry and acerlo cherry. It has a refreshing epic taste. 80 milligrams of organic caffeine from yerba mate, green tea, and guarana. The discovery. We bring you pure power from the heart of the Amazon that's super healthy, super tasty, and super good. With a blend of organic Amazon superfoods like acai, acerola, and yerba mate. Amazon Energy gives you a boost the way nature intended. Real energy from real food. Real food? Oh, real... Feel good about what you're putting into your body. Power to the purple. They like to say that 80 milligrams of this organic caffeine is equivalent to a cup of coffee. Nah, a cup of coffee would have more. This would maybe be like those half caps or something. Um, sparkling filtered water, organic cane syrup, organic certified acai juice, organic acerola uh, juice, filtered water, organic acerola concentrate. Citric acid, organic natural flavors, organic arana extract, organic green tea extract, fruit and vegetable juice for color, and guayaki organic yerba mate extract. So they're using the yerba mate from uh, the guayaki company. Which makes sense because that company that does uh, the yerba mates is out in like California and so is this company. So maybe that's the closest yerba mate company they can get their hands on or only went out that way, who knows? Gently carbonated, served chilled, so give it a little shake. Um yeah. This here folks, it's non non GMO project verified, whatever that is. USDA organic. There's a circle with a B and it says it's certified, whatever that's about, and it's vegan and gluten free. Um it's the new uh, it's a different can look from before because it says new look on it. Yes, it's organic. I'm not worried about it. Some people are like, oh, organic always tastes like crap. Anyways, what we have here is um, a 12 ounce, 355 milliliter beverage from Sam Bazon. It's their Amazon Energy Acai Berry. They apparently do this and a low cal version. And then just quickly looking at like their site, they have some like other. Uh, other stuff, I guess they're beverages too or something, but they're not anything to do with energy at the time. Whoa, you smell it from here a bit. Whoa. Like 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 strong fruit juice. And one of those uh juices that are uh the darker and thicker and heavier kind of fruits, I guess you could say. So pretty much like a red color, I guess you could say. A little bit of like a head, like what a beer would do or something. <laughs> yeah, it's really fruit stuff. It's acai berry, and that's all you're tasting is straight up like the acai berry, and maybe that acerola berry thing that's in it too, but it smells extremely juicy. And since it's acai berry, I guess that's the acai berry. <laughs> Whatever, it just tastes really, smells really juicy and berry and honestly it smells more like um like juice than any energy beverage but it's 
test it and see how this one is. Well, it doesn't even taste like, yeah, it tastes nothing like an energy drink. Honest to God, this tastes straight up like a glass of uh, juice, like a more real juice and more one of those uh, juices that are a bit like, you know, stronger and heavier. This actually tastes like, like you're drinking pure juice blend of something instead of like you know what I'm saying right so yeah it's um the berry taste is a it's a little bit on the sweet and sour side not like pucker power sour but it's I guess a little sour with its sweetness there but not overly done but that's kind of what you're tasting so when you drink it in Tastes like juice, and then afterwards you got a little bit of like a sourness from it right there. It's a bit heavier of a juice too, so I'm gonna um I like green tea. Your mate teas are amazing. Love that stuff. Uh, Garan is cool, I guess. So, um, you know what? I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 because um, it's it's actually all right. doesn't taste bad at all. And how there's like green tea and yerba mate in it. But honestly, it tastes nothing like an energy drink. Even energy drink juices that you know are supposed to be a juice ahead of time. This tastes more juice than those probably can sometimes because I can only think of the orange juice amp as the other as a juice one I've had before minus any juice rock stars you know so if you haven't had this before or you're going to have it uh, you're gonna get what tastes like a juice it's rich it's thick it's got a little bit of a light sour aftertaste from it and yeah